Hello, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful friends. I am playing more Cave Story Plus. And a uh, quick warning that I am going to definitely make spoilers towards the end of the game. Or, I mean, about the end of the game. Ah, uh, because I've played the original version before. Yes, now that I've gotten that out of the way. Oh, I wonder if I want to see Carly soon. I'm excited for that. Right, though, I apologize. It's been a while since I've uploaded. And, um... I do ap I apologize severely for that. I, um... God, I'm, I, I can't... I can't speak and then also play. Um... Right, I've had some, uh... I'm just being a stupid... God. Uh, I've had some, um... Troubles, though, with... Uh, my recordings lately, where they're kind of missing some frames. I can show you what I mean in last part. Uh, there was a little bit where I, um... Just had to make a cut. Like, it was, like, right when I was in Santa's house or something. And that was, um... Embarrassing. I feel horrible. I don't know why it's happening lately, but... I don't know. I think I've I've maybe fixed it. Hopefully. For good. For never again, please. But, um... I suppose, uh... Only time will tell. And I apologize. It's embarrassing. And I... Stupid. But, um... Hopefully it's fine. Hopefully it's fine this video. It'll be definitely fine. Don't worry about it. But I just... Oh, I feel so bad. I can't... I've, it's so long I've been trying to fix it and fix it. Because it only just started happening last part, and I, I can't tell when it's happening. I have no idea when I am just lose some frames. It's all in the recording of the video. It, it looks smooth to me, so... I don't know. And also, gosh, if, um... The resolution of the game... Full screen on my monitor, but... Oh, it has these black bars. Because I tried to get rid of them when I first played, and I just did settings and whatever, and found something that worked, and then... I guess, um... I don't know. Call me stupid, just do it. Whatever, I hope it's fine. I hope you don't mind. I was able to get the original version just fine to be, um, full screen and everything. Go figure, you know? Remaster, what do you do? Anywho, Kazuma, my best friend. There's someone in that crevice. Hey you, boy. I need to get out of here. Would you, um, please help me? Now, now friends, what I did say, choosing different choices, right? Yeah? I mean, um... This is sort of the thing where at the end of the adventure, or at the beginning of the adventure, sorry, you go to, like, the king and he's like, I need you to save the princess, yada 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 yada, and you're like, no, I don't want to take on your quest. I was never brave enough to choose that, but I think right here, right now, with your beautiful, gorgeous support, I love you very much, I think I'm going to, yeah? No. Oh, I see. What a shame. <laughs> Poor Kazuma. Oh, poor guy. I apologize. There's someone in that crowd. Hey, you boy. You need to get out of here. Should put yeah, all right. Yes, yes. Thanks. Please take this. Rusty key. Oh, we're gonna have to go see Malco. I was left in this room. Go ahead and use it if you can. Now, mister, can I please have the gum key? Please, open the door. Oh, right, yes. Doesn't open this door. No keyhole. Seems to be rusted. Huh. What do you mean? It's not the right key for that door? Well, that's upsetting. There's no keyhole. We'll need to break it down. There has to be a better way. Alright, I'm hoping that after, um, speaking to Malco about the bomb and everything, I can just get the gum key early. So I don't have to go back for it. But, yes. Oh, beautiful friends. Oh, Malco. Oh, Malco! Oh, you, can I say, my beautiful, beautiful Malco friend? You're just as cute as you were before. You're so sweet. Oh, I love you. It's a robot. Looks like it's not powered on. Don't worry, buddy. I gotcha. Fan power supply? Malco power supply? Yes. Oh, to think I was first threatened by you. You gorgeous, gorgeous guy. <laughs> oh, intruder sighted. Terminate immediately. Oh yeah. Oh, here's Belrog. You big loser. Did you know that the Mamiga I found wasn't so? Now before I said no, I think I was I was brave enough to be a little cheeky about this one, but I'll say uh yeah, yeah, I, I knew that. Yes. Yep. 
she wasn't Sue. Because of that, the doctor was extremely upset. I right, saw so no reaction then, really. I don't know, maybe there's some, like, hidden best friend stat for Balrog, and then a voice said, No, I had no idea! He'd be like, okay, trustworthy guy. I trust this guy. But now that I've said this, he's like, oh, okay. I see, that's how it is. No, no, no. Misery received quite the beatdown. Pity, since she's just a girl. Oh, God, that's even worse! It didn't say that before, did it? Ah, oh, That's horrible. That's really horrible. It, it nearly makes me feel bad for murdering Misery later on, but, uh, I mean, that's a pretty hard fight, and she just kind of rubbed salt in the wound there, so I guess I don't feel really bad. Oh, that's that's awful, though. To be honest, I'm really glad that Balrog wasn't part of the final fight. Oh, uh, that would have broken my heart. Even though he has just hurt Malco here, hasn't he? But then, I guess, it, it's, it's what the implication is here that Malco was originally going to go intruder intruder and then murder me but Balrog like stepped on that part of his AI and then Malco turned into a good friend? I don't know. Whatever, that's awful though about misery. Well the master can't be disobeyed so... that's our fate. This time I'm here to break you for real. I mean isn't this our first encounter front? Unless I'm remembering wrong. Because I said no before. Better prepare yourself. All right, all right. Whoops. Gosh, I did, um, God. Fudge, oh, fudge, that was like 15 damage and I'm running into other things. God, am I stupid? I, oh, I've got, okay, no, it's fine, it's fine. I can do it, I can do it. Yes, please retry. God, I was stupid about that. Oh, God, and I'm back here. It's fine, it's fine, I'll do it real quick, it's fine. I meant to mention, oh, I fixed my buttons and so I can quickly go through things. <laughs> Oops. No, it's fine, it's fine. I'll pay attention this time. You know, it's been a lot, you know, like, a few years, I think, since uh, the last part, and that's, that's a real long time. Alright. No problem this time. No problem. Totally ready for this. Totally. Uh... My reflexes have never been faster. God! Oh, I forget that he just jumps like that. Whoa, that was close. That was close. What are you? Ha! Huh. Defeated Balrog. You know, I, um, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful friend, you've told me that I've missed a health thing, and I'm like, oh, I don't need to go back for it. Maybe I really should have gone back for it. I figured I'd go back for it when I, you know, went back, but gosh, you forget how little health you have right off the bat. Gosh, I, I really thought this guy would be a piece of cake. Maybe, oh, you know what? Maybe he was just, like, extra strong since, um, I refused the fight before. And you never know about these things, really. Malco, bud, pick yourself up off the floor, huh? I love you very much. The head's been crushed in. Its body is jammed into the floor. I yes, pull it out. Yeah. Oh, th thank you. Oh, he's so precious. He's so cute. Oh, you are a good person. And on top of that, so strong. Oh, thank you for saving me. I would like to do something for you to express my gratitude. With that said, I'm only capable of making bombs. Do it, yes. Oh, I think I... Uh, you know, in my, um, haste to get back here, I think I didn't, um... Go to Kazuma's door and actually find out that I need to blow it up, so... I'll, I'll do that and then do that, yes. How, what an embarrassment. It's, you know, it's only because it's been, you know, just so long, you know? And also, I feel like I'm, like, way too cocky and just, like, rushing things. I'm like, I've got 50 health, no problems. And it's, oh, God. I gotta work my way back up to that point. You wanna open the rusty door? What? Someone is trapped inside? You definitely are a good person. I understand. Let us make a bomb, then. We will demolish that door. 
Yes, yes, please log in the following materials. Charcoal, jellyfish juice, and gum base. Yes, beautiful, beautiful friend, thank you. Oh. And, oh gosh, soon we're gonna see... Probably... And I mean, this is a big, big statement, but... Probably the cutest boss of the game? If we're being honest with ourselves? I mean, a bell frog, come on. That guy... How do you, how do you get better than that? Right, uh, Kazuma, can I get the key now? What? Use a bomb? On that door? I guess that's a possibility. So you're looking for the materials? You say gum base, there we go! Wait a sec. Take this. Tain the gum key- Here, I felt so... Like, um... Faithful towards talking to every NPC multiple times every time when I did this originally, but I could have gotten it right now and I didn't before. If that statement made sense? Oh, it was hanging on the wall. The word gum was written on it. Sure, it must be related somehow. I'm counting on you, boy. Thank you, Kazuma. I'm glad you trust me. Alright, though. Th this is the, um... Place with the... Oh, yep, 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 the Mamiga. It wasn't very hard, as I recall. But I still feel like I'm gonna- I'm gonna screw it up somehow. Open the treasure chest. Next missiles increase by five. Oh! There we go! Alright, there. God, I'm- I just like- I'm so much worse somehow. Can I sleep here, though? Alright, no, that's fine. That's okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm just gonna go into the execution chamber. It'll be just fine. At least I'll get more health, though. For God's sake, I need that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Please be five. Yeah, yeah. That's not bad. Getting there. God, yeah, I forgot, though, how nice, gloriously nice it was having that thing that made it so I didn't lose so much. Um, health or level on my weapon when I got hit. Because I was thinking, oh, it, you know, it wasn't that great. I still lost my weapon pretty quickly, but it's like, I forgot how quickly I lost the levels. And it's frustrating because the only thing that's really, you know, making me uh, lose them is, is my own stupidity, my own impatience, because I just rush things and try to get there as quick as I can, and oh my god, I think... Hopefully, they've got some health pickups up there, probably. It's fine. Hello, Cthulhu. So let me tell you something. If you hold on the jump button while being propelled by a pan, you'll go even higher. Thank you, mister. You're a good guy. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Alright, alright. Whoops, no, no problems. Don't take that as a bad sign. That was just like another, like, sort of thing for luck, you know? You just, you fall in the hole once and then you won't fall later. So this is fine. First try, no problems. Oh, <gasps> health. Gorgeous. That's nice. Even though it's not a full health bar, it's fine. I'm shy, you know. I'm a, I'm a champ. Oh, fudge. Uh, f yeah. This is um. That was the practice try. Oh. Uh, oh, but I. Oh, I feel so um. Cocky. You know. I think that's the only word for it. I um. I shouldn't though. I should feel like take it slow. Take it just as you did before. It's fine. Just just be calm about it. Oh, right, I forgot the whole fan thing. God. God. I don't remember the fireballs were beautiful here, though. Alright, you misery. Hey. You again. You remember me? Yes, I do, Miss Misery. I, I killed you once, but uh, can I just say, again, can I please say, I mean, Balrog called you a little girl. Not a little girl, but a girl kind of implies little, right? And that's just awful what the doctor's doing to you. That's not okay. I think you should go back to, um, oh my god, Jinko? Was that, was that, was that, was that your mother's name? Um, I, I really think you should, because, um, 
that you that you'd have like five dogs to play around with and Curly's over there. You could have a lot of fun in the in the desert. It'll be great. And um you could just leave the doctor behind, I think. I think that's the best call. That's right, in Mamiga Village. Didn't notice at the time, but now I remember. Aren't you that soldier from the surface? I don't know how you were able to stay alive. Misery. Oh, can I take just one second to mention? How cute is Balfrog? That's, that's such a cute name. I didn't even realize before. I love it. I love it very much. That's adorableness to the maximum. Yes. That's the enemy. Might even be stronger than you, Misery. Is that so? Aww. Poor guy. Well, it's a good thing this soldier is your job. Break him for sure this time, then come back. Oh, oh, you're so cute. God, he's so cute, Croak. Why? Oh. Whoops. Oh, God. I'm making a mess of it. Alright, no problem, no problem, no problem. Most of those didn't bounce and, and hit nowhere, it's fine. Oh, health, please. I forgot if he does contact damage. Fudge. Come on. Oh, fudge. This part of the, the, the arena's horrible. Can't jump as high as the other spots. Oh, whoops. Oh, you're calling down a lot of friends. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. There we go, that was a good jump. Come on! So close. So close. There we go, no problems. Remember you, Balfrog. You precious, precious creature. Ah. So that's interesting. Since I I thought for sure I would have freaked out about Balfrog being the name of it before, and it it is only in the credits where I guess you find out. Cause it did say Balfrog in the credits as far as I remember. That's very, that's very cute. That's very cute. Beautiful. 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 Malco, got the supplies. We're all set. You you precious. Oh, you perfect creature. Yes, yes. Do, don't I have all of those? Just make the bomb once all the materials of- What? Don't I- Oh, did I not get another jellyfish juice? What in the world? I swear I had one. Alright, I'll go back. And that I mean, I can go back for the health. It's fine. It's, fi it's really good. Overall, just all around fine. I swear I got one though. I swear I was so careful and I thought, yep, I need that again. I guess I forgot. Huh. Here we go. Yes. 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 Got it. Yes. Yes. I'll commence making the bomb immediately. You gorgeous guy. You precious, precious friend. It is complete. Thank you. Now go and blow up that door. You got it, man. Words cannot express. How much I appreciate you, Malco. You're very beautiful. Kazuma, got it. Let's do it. There we go. <laughs> yeah. All right. You did well, boy. Just one look and I knew. I knew you could do it. Um... My name is Kazuma Sakamoto. But please call me Kazuma. Luckily I was able to escape from the doctor. But then... I was teleported here. 
felt like I was about to die of total starvation. You're a real lifesaver. By the way, have you heard of a place called Mumiga Village? Yes, yes! Sue? You know Sue? I see. So you've come to get me in place of Sue. I understand. Let's go. Take me to the village. Uh, what's interesting is, um... He seems really, really, like, gung-ho now. Like, he's really for... Let me save my sister, this is great. But then later... He gets a sky dragon, he's like, Alright, I'm out, this is too much, I don't like this. I'm gonna leave. And he's willing... I, at least that's how I understand the ending, is we leave everybody for dead, and we all go fly off with the dragon together. Which... I mean, kind of sad that, you know, the, he doesn't know that Sue is necessarily dead, but he's just like, all right, let's go. Huh. Also his mother, too, you know? Whatever, I guess. I mean, it's, it's, it's character traits, fine. I, to be honest, I would probably be a coward in this, this circumstance as well. Booster. Booster, buddy. Is that you, Kazuma? Professor Booster. So you're safe? Yes. Somehow. And how's Sue? Is she safe? Sue's in Mamiga Village. This boy will get us there. Oh. Now, Booster, can I just ask real quick? Can I have your booster, please? Just real quick. I would like it right now. Please. Uh, my platforming skills are not up to the standard that I thought they were. And I need the crutch, please. Please, I'm not gonna have a machine gun to fall back on. Please. Please. Do you know him? No. Um, actually we just met. Right, I, he said this before, didn't he? And it still sounds weird. I don't know, maybe we're gonna learn more about it, because I think... I don't know, I think to get the best ending, he maybe lives? I forgot, I'll have to look. I, I think I... I've looked briefly. I know I don't think there's anything yet I have to do. That's important, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, let's hurry and get to Sue's location. The doctor has started to gather the Mamiga. It appears he's taken notice of the red flowers. But Sue is a... Will the red flowers work on Sue as well? Just like the others? Kazuma. The doctor has commenced snatching the Mamiga. Do you understand what this means? It's the doctor and the war? Now, here's what's interesting as well, because there- they, I, I- I- again, I, um, was very, very perplexed at the fact that Sue is a Mamiga and Kazuma is not. And it seems like- and, uh, well, um, with that guy, that precious guy, um, Ito, um, he was also a Mamiga, and we saw in the credits how he got to, you know, sneeze- Larry, they, they, like, were able to transform him back. And then, um, then he sneezed, and, uh, you know, how that happened. And, um, it, it just makes you wonder, for one, how in the world did that happen? But for two, like, I isn't that, like, a whole other, like, menace to the world? The fact that they've got some ability to transform humans into Amigas, which can then be transformed potentially into death machines? It's just, you know, it's something to, it's something to think about. Yeah, just something. That's right. And now we're the only ones who can stop him. But how are we gonna stop the doctor? I have an idea. At any rate, let's hurry and get back to Sue. We'll discuss when we're there. I want you to come too. Yeah. You guys are gonna send me on a suicide mission. I know you guys. And you're gonna leave on the motorcycle without me. Just like before, you big jerks. I'm counting on you. Lead us to Amiga Village. Kazuma. I guess it's better, though, if I didn't having, like, an escort mission in this game. <laughs> because, gosh darn, no, they're gonna be useless in combat, huh? Yes? Does that thing work? I do wonder who left this there. Yeah, looks like it still does. I was gonna say, you know... I mean, the Balrog wouldn't fit on it, and, uh... Misery can teleport, she doesn't need that. I mean, the Doctor would look adorable on that thing, but... I'm gonna assume it's Malcos, you know? He's the only one around here. 
Probably that guy's, you know, his his mode of transportation. It's not some obvious person that I'm not thinking of, is it? Is it like Carly's or something? That'd be weird. She's in a whole other place. And presumably she doesn't use the teleporters, maybe? I don't know. Maybe it showed it in the credit screen. I should have paid attention more. But then again, it wasn't like the top priority on my mind. I'm not like, oh, I gotta figure out who this weird little motorbike belongs to. Oh, they look so cute on it, though. It won't stop. Oh. All right, guys, I'm coming. Big jerks. Gosh, it's gonna be hard. Without my machine gun. I, d I did not have any ability to get it up to this point. I This was the default experience, as I had before. But for some reason it feels like, oh gosh, yeah, I missed my booster and my machine gun. What a stupid- I think I've just watched the platforming. Oh, that bike Kazuma was riding looks like it has, has had better days. Yeah. Did you see that, man? Do you want to venture any for- oh, right, nothing. Didn't you mention before? Maybe I'm stupid. Maybe it- was it Santa? Did Santa mention what was that big crash? Somebody mentioned it. Heard a crash of some kind, there we go. Then what sounded like someone screaming. Oh, I love you, Santa. Thanks for the charcoal again. We're weapons of death? Oh, King. Yes! The doctor plans to use the red flower to have all of you attack the humans. Why would he do such an awful thing? The doctor is like a devil. Will he force Taroko to eat the red flower? Yes, 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 yes you will. The doctor is still searching for the real, er, for the red flower, sorry. It's good if he hasn't found the location yet. But if, if he finds the red flower, Taroko will be, she'll be filled with rage and turned into a weapon of death. I won't let that happen. I just, um, I know I kind of mocked a guy, you know, King, for um, having basically flung himself into a fight and then died, but he's a nice guy. He's so nice to Taroko. Wanting to keep her safe, that's just nice. Oh, I feel so bad. I feel so bad for the guy. I might, um, depending on how I feel in the moment, I see if I, um, go for that nemesis weapon or if I just stick with King, because I felt bad that I got to the end without the poor guy. Just let him <laughs> be in a house with little people. I thought maybe he liked that. I don't know. Ouch. You okay? Yes. But I really thought that we weren't going to make it. Kazuma! And Professor Booster! Oh? How have you been? Surviving. And that Mamiga is... His name is King. He's the leader of this village, and also a friend of mine. That's just so lovely, so you can make friends just all around. And f oh gosh, though, we're on our bad side though, aren't we, for saying we didn't help her. Ah, uh, you know, whoops, what do you do about that? Uh, many Mamiga used to live here in Mamiga Village. But most of them were taken away to the doctor. King's friends were also... I uh, here's- here's the, um, question, though. Isn't there, like, one house in this place? I guess that's a- you know, you'd think there'd be more- I guess they've got several beds in here, I shouldn't question these things. They just keep talking about this place as if it was, like, a sprawling community, and... I, know, I guess, you know, they've got different places. They can sleep outside, they're basically little rabbits, right? In fact, it's weird that they've got houses and beds and things. Gosh, the second you start questioning any video game logic, it, oh, it gets um, gets wonky. Hello, hey guys, suicide mission, right? Yep. Good work. The bike is a complete wreck, but somehow we made it. The doctor's scheme is moving along as planned. We need to hurry and do something about it. Welcome back. Seems like I owe you yet another one. With Kazuma here, I'm sure we'll be able to handle the password for that egg. Yeah. Professor Booster. 
Can we bring him along? Professor. Sue. Our escape must be put on hold for now. The doctor has found the location of the red flowers. Huh? As of yet, he doesn't have his hands on them. But it's only a matter of time before he does. Their location is in Sand Zone. I've heard of th I've heard that the red flowers are there. Sand zone? So if we go there, will we find the doctor? <clears throat> I fear that it's the doctor's minions that will presumably go. Now that that, you know, I didn't consider it at the time, King's curiosity in this conversation, but the fact that he goes, yeah, like okay, is is the doctor there? Can I save Taroka? What a sweet guy. What a nice guy. We must eradicate the red flowers before they get their hands on them. However, Sand Zone is a very dangerous place. If we were to go, whether or not we can make it back alive isn't... You giving up then, King? You perfect guy. I'm just... I'm loving every character. It's so... Sweet knowing what they'll do later on. Just knowing that and then thinking, yeah, they're, they're actually an alright person. Because I think... Everybody's first impression of King is probably like, what's this loser doing, you know? He's being mean, you know? I get, He's got that sort of personality. I, get, I said it last part, though, didn't I? Where he's got, like, a, you know, heart of gold, you know? Tough exterior, and, um, that's just nice. That's just, you know, it, it, I kind of... It's kind of cute, those 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 kind of characters that are just, like, really mean, but then... Oh, it's nice. Whatever. Actually, no. We have just the right person here with us now. Yeah, you. What is he? Hmm, well... He's an armed recon robot that was dispatched to this island ten years ago. A robot? I heard that they were all destroyed after the war. However, I don't know the exact details. Perhaps one of them? Professor, I've connected us to the Sand Zone teleporter. Hmm... You're the most ideal among us here to search the island. Please, help us. You big jerks. Still pissed about this. Hello. Sand zone, huh? That's all you gotta say? Alright. Where did Jack go, by the way? That wily guy. Cause I, um... I didn't even, you know, I'd said before, I didn't look at him in the credit screen. Hello. You're, uh, Mahin, right? I think you're called Mahin. I remember because it's it's kind of weird to pronounce and I still don't know if I'm doing it correctly. Arthur's house sounds quite lively. Is there a party going there? You gorgeous, gorgeous friends. Where is Jack though? I'm, is he in the... I'm guessing he'd be here. Oh yeah, hey bud! Taroko's older brother, Arthur, fought a red ogre. What? What? What now? Did I read this previously? I might have missed this. Red Ogre, well, or maybe I just didn't make the connection because Red Ogre, is that not like the one enemy on the credit screen when I beat the game before that I didn't recognize? It was called Red Ogre, right? I swear it was, or something like that. I didn't write it down. I don't think I wrote that down. I should have written that down. I, I think, I think that's the guy. Gosh, that's craziness. This island's terrible ogre. The thing would eat Mamiga after Mamiga. Oh my gosh. This really has nothing to do with the doctor, but... The ogre has lived on this island since the old days. Arthur sent that evil beast away from our village permanently. <gasps> it was so brave of him to put himself in harm's way for the sake of the islands. I'll never forget it. Though Arthur was killed by the doctor, he is still a real hero to us, Mamiga. That is sick that's awesome to know oh my gosh so potentially and um i don't know we'll have to find out how uh i'm thinking it's in that plantation part i think uh, i'm pretty sure uh that will face the um the red ogre gosh that's great it said that uh, that was it what his name was right on the, on the credits? It was something like that. It was the, the, the red guy, the one... Yeah, God, this is gonna be awesome. Oh, I'm gonna save you guys from getting eaten. And also from the doctor. Hello. There are no more red flowers. We can hopefully avoid the war. 
Well, that's a pretty heavy responsibility, you think? Yeah. Travel a sand zone with this teleporter. Search for the red flowers and burn them all. See, I mean, well... Well, King is, like, kind of mean and, and rough at first, he becomes enduring. Whereas you, Booster, I don't... The way you've spoken to me has never been very good. But then you also died, so I guess I can... I can forgive you for that. I, and can you please give me the booster, please? Hello? You are the one from ten years ago, aren't you? I didn't realize it at all until just now. You were indeed well made. Thanks. I guess. You guys. Here we go. Oh gosh, though! Carly! Carly! We're gonna see Carly again and she's gonna murder us outright because she's very good at fighting. Carly, I love you. You're so cute. I can see that little blush on your cheeks. Very cute. Hey! Oh, oh this music is different. I can't exactly place exactly how different, but I know it's different. But it's good. But they're both two excellent soundtracks. It's got like the same like melody behind it. I'm trying to bide my time because I don't know what gun is perfect for Carly. At least I think I know now I can hit um the little Mamigas, the Collins, right? And um that'll be um fine. It's fine if I do that. So I don't have to feel they don't get murdered or anything. They're so sweet though. Carly, I'm sorry about this. Ah! Gosh, so hey, look, a visitor after such a long time. I know what you want to do, but you better wake up. Mega aren't the enemy. They're totally harmless. I know this. I know this mess. Please, let's not fight. You're going to embarrass me several times over. I feel sorry for you. I'm on the Mamiga side and not going to lose to you. Foolish. Oh, God, I forgot that you turn around. Whoa. For the record, miss, I think it's awful that you're using the Mimiga in this way. Gosh, oh, I'm a freaking Mimiga killed me. All right, yeah, yeah, let me try, let me try. Oh, it's so embarrassing. She's so much better. She's so good with her machine gun. There we go. Eat it. You won. Oh, beautiful. I love that firewall. Gosh. You got me. And here, here is where I think it, it solidified my decision to go for the machine gun is because I'm not sure, at least for me being stupid, the Polar Star helped me out in this fight. Uh, this The fireball had, you know, I think it proved itself to have a little bit better DPS and I was able to take her down. But um, I do think the Polar Star definitely has its, has its good points and... Um, I'm gonna have to learn those good points. I'm guessing upgraded is really good, but it, gosh, it takes a while to get, be able to get it upgraded, doesn't it? Right? Because I have to come back to, uh, Mamiga Village after going to the labyrinth, I think. Right, ever. Oh, you got me. We've been defeated. You plan on disposing of the Mamiga? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I mean, I did say I'd choose different things. Look at those poor guys, too. They're all... On the floor, <laughs> sprawled out. Yeah, let's do it. Yep, I see. What a pity. What? Oh, and then that's it? What? What? Did you just take it as a joke that it was? Huh? Hello there, Mr. Killing Machine. <laughs> Are you still going to knock off all the Mamiga? No. Um, okay, here's, here's the thing. And I know I should commit to the whole Killing Machine thing. Uh... I'm worried she'll initiate another fight if I say yes, so I don't know. No, I want to continue the story. This is a whole, like, and just another choice that it's like... They just let me make the choice, but it doesn't actually do anything, you know? So no. Oh! You're on the Mamiga side too! I know, it's not their fault. 
I'm Carly. Carly Brace. I've been with these little ones since before I can remember. Don't recall anything before that. Apparently it's so-called memory loss. It may have been a Mamiga killer, just like the other robots. Oh! Your Polar Star! It's thrashed pretty badly. Yeah, thanks. Wanna trade it for my machine gun? Desperately, yes. Because, um... I got really attached to that machine gun, but no. No mess. No, I'm gonna keep my beautiful gun. Don't take this as an insult. Oh yeah? You can come back anytime if you end up changing your mind or something. You awesome person, thank you. Thank you very much. That's, that's really nice. You're like the little guy with the nemesis, except didn't you not let me change it? Like once you got, gave me the, the machine gun, I don't think you gave me the choice again, right? Maybe you did, maybe I just didn't ask, whatever. Yeah, I wanna eat some tasty fish, yeah. Why? You should come to Amiga Village, huh? Actually don't, they're gonna kill everybody there, but they got, there's a fisherman there. You must remove the curse to move the sunstones, yes. Be careful with those sand crocs. They'll bite suddenly if you dare walk directly on the sand. And they take a big chunk out of you. You looking for red flowers? The old lady named Jenka might know something about them. Oh yeah. One thing- Did I call her Jenko? I might have called her Jenko. Oh, fudge. Whoops. I mean, at least it's in the same part so I can admit to it now. And this definitely saves myself the embarrassment. Also, I, I still don't know if I said Ito or Eco, or which one of- God, I'm stupid. I'm a, it's been, again, it's several uh, millenniums since I've last played, and I apologize for that. But yeah, whatever. Oh yeah, one thing. If you go to our house, you should take the dog next to the bed. Look in the next room. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. There we go. You pup. You sweet pup. You're just as cute as you were before. Can I say that? Arf. You wanna bring him along? Yes. Picked up the dog. Now, this time, I sh- Oh, and look at that. It does show it on the map. Look at that. I only just pressed the wrong button for the inventory. Ha Hajime? Hajime? Jenka's pet dog and leader of the bunch. Lost while looking for his siblings. He likes Curly's place. Aww. That's nice. That's nice. I- I like that. I like that. I like that they're each distinctive dogs. But, yes. Uh, let me grab the- Sacred here, I know I got it, you know, before, but, um, you know, you just gotta, um, God, I'm stupid about this. I, ca I can't talk and play. I can't talk and play. I'm a big stupid. But, you know, I just gotta, you know, grab it again. You know, it's very, um, important. I, th I think it's, you know, something probably having to do with the end or something, you know, probably. God, I'm stupid about this. Where is it? There it is. Hey! Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. She's gonna think I'm a total creep about this. Ah, uh, you know, I, I, it's got, I've got, um, you know, good reason to have these. Surely, uh, is there? Found behind a wall, green panties with a cute little red insignia. They have no use. Yup, yup, same, same as before, huh? Yeah. Um, secrets are uh, very um important, and also um. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this time, if you think about it, I'm gonna save her life, so it's gonna be fine. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, it was, it was sort of, you know, a disrespectful probably before, you know, the fact that like, but we stole them, and then she also died. Like, what do you do with a dead person's underwear? I, it's a moral question. I don't have the answer to. Ah, uh, but um, now that she's she's going to live, it's it's fine. It's morally. Like, not great, but but okay. Like, a little more okay. So, I, oh, I'm sorry about that, Carly. Sorry. Oh, right, you're gonna say this again. I thought, you know, maybe, maybe we're gonna mention it. Alright, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, but, gosh, I, I predicted that uh, in last part that we'd make it to the labyrinth, but it's getting pretty long already, I, I think. I don't know, I'm just going based off gut, and it, it feels like my voice is, is pretty, um, thrashed like my polar star here. And, um, I think, um, that might be it for now. But uh, again, I apologize if there has been any glaring graphical issues. Uh, either with, like, the resolution being wonky or, um, the, the you know, frames being missing. But, um, 
what do you do about that, I guess? I think it's more important that I just, uh, you know, keep playing than worry about it, Ho hopefully. Hopefully, I don't know. I, um... Right, I, uh... Think that'll be it for now. I'm for I swear there was something I was gonna say, but I, you know, I forgot it, and pr it probably means it's not important at all in the slightest, probably. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, yes, yes, on to, uh, Jinka and the dogs, and, um... Oh gosh, what was it next? The next boss? Like, Omega? Was it? Is that what it was called? The sand guy? I don't remember having any trouble on him. And then, um... Right, Taroko. Oof. But, yeah, it looks like next part probably we'll get to, uh... Get to the labyrinth, huh? Hey, pups? Yeah? Yeah. So, um... Yes. That is it.